I have a really good stitch on my fabric coming from this overlocker. Having just thread it, it's perfectly fine. Really happy with everything. The knife setting's perfect. There's no loops hanging off. Let me show you what can happen if I don't thread up the machine properly. And this is a common problem. What I'm going to do is this yellow thread. So that's, let me show you again. That's the lower looper. So that's the underside. That lower looper is a really tricky thread to feed. What happens is quite a lot of people will miss that thread and when the thread jumps out while you're stitching, and it can do if your machine's dirty or fluffy, that thread comes out and then your tension goes completely out of whack. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the thread. Let's cut it here. And I'm going to just pull the yellow thread out. Okay. So we don't have any stitching going on anymore. We've just got three threads going on. So what I'm going to do is I'll snip that away. And now just make sure I've switched the machine off. I'm going to just position the needles at the highest point, point, which means now I can see the upper looper needle and the lower looper needle there. I'll just grab my scissors and I'm going to just swipe underneath to make sure that the threads are not caught on any of the other gadgets in the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish threading the yellow thread. I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to thread around this guide, this guide, and I'm going to leave the guide that sits at the end of this looper. So pop that through the eye of the lower looper, pull that thread out, and then we're just going to move the knife out of the way just for a second while I'll pull that thread around now. Okay. Switch the machine on. So the comparison is, this is a good stitch. This is a stitch without the threads being fed properly. So you can see uh, the looper, the top loops are looping nicely. When I've not threaded the machine properly, this is what I get. If we flip it over, let's have a look at the difference there. Now, this is the good stuff. So the loops are sitting nicely on the edge of the fabric and on here, they're being pulled to the back because the yellow tension is completely off. Now I want to show you something else. And this time I'm going to feed that guide there, feed that guide there. And I'm going to place this thread with the needles at the highest point. I'm going to put these, this thread through the eye of the needle, okay, of the looper needle. And this time, I'm not going to make sure it goes round to the back. I'm just going to pull it round to the front, like this, just lift up that press foot. And I'm sure you can see what's happened. So let's just get our scissors, make sure all the threads are nicely sat individually. You can pull them and they will feed through. So, you can see all the threads are sort of. I've got an extra thread there, an extra red thread. So it seems like I've got one, one thread there, which is, you can see, it's coming off the spool. 
I've got a red thread here, which is caught just over here. And it's trapped around the needle, which it should never do. Basically, I've made myself a whole load of mess. So I've got lots of different threads hanging off the machine. And on top of that, my stitch looks horrendous. So it's really important that you make sure you thread the machine properly and in sequence. If you're not comfortable doing the threading individually, then make sure if this one snaps, just cut the red one away. So that's the upper loop, but just cut it away. Just there. Let the machine pull these out. If they get caught on the needle, don't pull because you might break your needle plate and that really isn't a solution. My green thread's come undone because it didn't like being caught and trapped. I'm going to cut this away. And then I'm going to grab my tweezers because everything's all in a tangle. And I'm going to just pull on each individual thread and make sure we don't miss the machine. We've got the blue thread tangled in the needle plate. So work through that very, very carefully. You don't want to damage, particularly on these brand of machines where the metal work could break very easily. 